Hi Leo, welcome and welcome back to Monocopes' Tarot. I am Amira. I'm going to be doing your weekly reading here to see what energies may be around you, what you may need to be aware of and prepared for. As always, this is a general reading. So, if something resonates with you, I'll be super glad and happy and hope that you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> okay, but be mindful that everything is not for everybody, um, and so it may not resonate for you fully. Um, also, just check your other placements as they are just as important as your sun sign. We're going to look at uh, the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and then we'll take a peek into the end of the week for you, um, just to see what's going on. We'll clarify, and then we'll pull a moonology card toward the end. We do have a full moon this week, so um, we'll just take a look and see what's going on for you there. Okay. So, towards the beginning of the week here, Leo, you have the Eight of Cups. It says emotional withdrawal in this deck. Um, now, this could be someone who is literally walking away. We'll see as the energy progresses. However, it's really just someone who is um, trying to find their center um, in their path, okay? Um, it's, it's a place of beginning to see the light sort of okay i feel like you're beginning to see the light in a certain situation or or um you know with a particular person okay and realizing realizing that something is not fulfilling um this is also a very spiritual uh, place that you're in, okay? Understanding that you're not alone. Some of you may be seeking um, counseling or tarot readings <laughs> um, or, or really just praying and meditating, okay? But uh, there's also a need here to understand that you're not alone in this situation. You know, the number eight is about making big life changes, okay? They are the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Wands. They're all about moving in a new direction, okay? And uh, not even necessarily the new direction, just like getting over the hump of something, okay? You know, like I said, coming out of delusion, um, it's like you, you, you're making a choice. You've seen the vision and now you're trying to go deep and figure out how to make this thing tangible. Yeah, you're starting over and you have seen the light. <laughs> okay, everything that I just said. Um, and you're detaching yourself from something or someone that became unhealthy, okay? Um, for some of you, this is going to be a partnership, but this could also just be a part of you that you kind of have to leave in the dust, whether it be an addiction or, um, I don't know why I feel like, it feels like there is some kind of romance here, or it, it could be an actual romance or you romanticizing something. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um... But you have the Page of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Six of Wands showing up. So like I said, you know, you're here um, having come out of the darkness, okay, in a certain situation, having been delusional um, in a certain situation or just unable to see things clearly. And I feel like it has to do with that over-romanticized thing that I was talking about earlier. But now you're here ready to start over with a new idea, okay, with that little coin in your hand. That's what you're focused on and determined to kind of free yourself from whatever this battle was. Um, for some of you, like I said, this could be a, literally a battle um, with addiction or something of that sort. But I see you definitely going deep at the beginning of the week to kind of get a handle on um, where you want to go from here, okay? There's just been some sort of drama um, that you're no longer wanting to be a part of or give attention to. Okay, yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, towards the middle of the week, you have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups speaks on discontent and boredom in this particular deck. You're really uh, focused on yourself, okay? 
Um, like I said, towards the beginning of the week, and it's still showing up here towards the middle of the week, you're spending time alone. Um, I feel like you are focusing on your own inner happiness as well. Okay, yeah, focusing on your own, like, how can I make myself happy? How can I achieve the things that I want to achieve and, and, and it be in alignment with me and who I am? Okay, there may have been some disagreement as far as what direction to go in as well with another individual and you're needing to kind of detach. Um, but you're definitely not satisfied in whatever this situation is, whether it be a job or just within your, your finances or your, your circumstance as a whole. There's a sense of dissatisfaction. Queen of Swords, Five of Cups and Ten of Cups. Okay, here it is. Here it is. You're making the decision here that, um, yeah, and another eight. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You have another eight showing up, the eight of pentacles, and you have the ace of cups. So, it, like I said, whatever drama was back there, okay, whether it be with a partner with um, within yourself or with your family, friends, your community, right? You're leaving that in the dust and beginning to focus on yourself, self-care, self-love. Just be mindful, okay? Because I do feel like you're getting uh, to be a little cold back here with this Queen of Swords, okay, darling? <laughs> Just be mindful of that, okay? The Queen of Swords is not the most comforting. You know, she's the queen who has been hurt time and time and time again. She's typically depicted as being um, divorced and just like on her own little solitude journey, which is cool for the time being as you continue to be introspective and heal. Um, just ensure that you are healing. You're definitely feeling some sense of loss here, okay? So you're gonna be getting, going into that grieving stage if you're not already in it with that Eight of Cups energy at the beginning of the, re of the week. The middle of the week may be a little difficult, um, especially as we, dive into the full moon okay this week it's going to be a little difficult for you not going to lie so just be mindful of that leo as you uh, move forward but you have this ten of cups that you're searching for um for some of you this may be um a divorce okay with this queen of swords showing up in the ten of cups um but again you have the ace of cups here at the bottom of the deck like trading it all in for a fresh start you know that's the best thing to do when you're not content with your circumstances no matter how great or or how much of a uh, hopeless romantic or or whatever you have called yourself to be okay Towards the end of the week oh gosh you are in your feelings baby you have the heart chakra Okay, towards the end of the week. I like this because um, a lot of emotions here. A lot, a lot of emotions. I feel like you're going to be like pouring out. And this is like so not a freaking Leo energy, but we all go through it, right? And and you, and you need to kind of sit there and, and allow it to happen. Because what happens with this heart chakra, not only is it about healing, okay, which I said, but it also is about forgiveness, okay? You're moving kind of fast here, Leah. <laughs> You're running out the door. You're moving kind of fast, but I like it. Just ensure that you don't skip over anything, okay? Tell me more about this heart chakra, please, for Leo. Thank you. Yeah, page of cups, okay? This may be the other individual, um... Okay, well, you know, again, whether it's a family member, a friend, so on and so forth. This could be them coming in and trying to apologize for their actions or harsh words um, in the past. Yeah, King of Wands, the Hangman, and the Queen of Wands. So someone is trying to um, get back into your good graces. Yeah. <laughs> Page of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles. They may be offering... Um, to, like I said, get back together or something of that sort with this Ten of um, Pentacles here. Let me get the next three. This is definitely about a partnership, okay? And I, and I feel like um, a part of the issue here as well is that there has been a disconnect. 
okay whether it be physically emotionally it's like it's something that has already has been there and not been dealt with okay for so long and i feel like um what whatever this person comes to you with um it's like the same old energy again of of getting into a place where really you're not moving forward okay i hope that makes sense Yeah, see, but this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. They're, they're, they are trying to bring you backwards, okay? Don't allow that to happen. They're, and and a, and a lot of you, this is going to be them trying to come to you um, with offers for sex or something like that, for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, let's get you a Moonology card, and then we'll clear up. Manipulative. All right, what do you have from the moon for Leo, please? They want two for you. Look at this, you guys. You can't make this up. You can't. First of all, you're coming out here with some more green. <laughs> and it's um, the south note. It says, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. I'm going to get another one. They want one more. But really, this, you know... Uh, like I said at the beginning of this as well, you guys, this could be um, something that has already occurred in your space as well. And it's kind of like coming back up. That could be why we're starting here with the Eight of Cups, with that separation. But I feel like this is just confirmation to not let this person or whatever this energy is manipulate you into going backwards. A fiery club. <laughs> To come through a fiery climax approaches okay full moon in aries first of all this is the full moon that we're having this week this person uh we're out of mercury retrograde so they need to sit down and sit back wherever they came from <laughs> but this person is trying to lure you in with sex okay don't let it fool you leo this is the message i have for you i hope that it helps as you move forward and make decisions in life and love and in general don't forget to like the video share the love and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.